let's run through IAS 8, which is the international accounting standard on accounting policy, uh, policies, changes in estimates, as well as errors. This lecture is going to be our SOAP, our standard on a page, a nice brief summary and overview. So IAS 8 addresses three things, accounting policies, changes in accounting estimates, as well as errors. Okay, give me a different color pen for this. Let's have a look briefly at each of these three items addressed by the standard. So accounting policies is going to look at selection and application of those accounting policies, as well as making it consistent for the same company over time, as well as amongst different companies. Okay, that's, remember that's one of the major things with financial statements, is we want to make things comparable, right? So this year's financial statements must be comparable to last year. Our company's financial statements must be comparable to a competitor in the same industry. Okay, but what this standard is going to really spend some time on is how do we deal with changes in accounting policies? The story here is we will do this retro Retrospectively. Retrospective means we will go back into prior periods and make the changes to the statements of profit and loss and financial position. Okay. Disclosure, we will look at the nature of any changes, the reasons for the change, only one of two reasons, either because the standard changes or to improve fair presentation. And then obviously the financial effect of the change, and this we must do for each line item. Okay, remember retrospectively, we will go back into previous years and make those changes according to the change in accounting policy. Then there is changes in estimates, ladies and gentlemen. Here, these will be done prospectively. That means we will make the change in the current year when we change the estimate and going forward. We do not, do not, I repeat, do changes in estimates retrospectively. We do not go back into prior years and restate, only this year going forward. Now there's going to be two kind of broad methods. There will either be cumulative catch-up or the spread method. Cumulative catch-up, we will say if we had known what the new estimate is this year, what would the effect have been in the last years? So if it was depreciation, how different would the depreciation have been for the last three years? But remember, I cannot go back into prior years and make the change. I will take the difference between the new estimated depreciation and the old recorded depreciation and record one big change in estimate this year if I do cumulative catch-up. Okay. The alternative is to take the change in estimates, the effect that's already happened in the past, and spread it out over the rest of the assets used for life, for instance. Okay. So look out for that. Disclosure, obviously the nature of the change, and then the financial effect that has been caused by this change in estimates. Okay, now errors. Errors can arise from misapplication of policies, misinterpretation of facts, which is maybe mistakes, fraud, or oversight. oversight. Okay. What is important here is restatements will only happen if the prior period errors are material, okay? And material, what does material mean? Material means that if it is disclosed, it will change the decisions made by users of the financial statements. Here we will also retrospectively adjust figures for prior period errors. Retrospectively, go back into the prior periods and change the assets and liabilities, the income and expenses, okay? Very different to estimates, which is prospectively, only this year going forward. Okay. Disclosure, the nature of the error, and the financial effect of the error for each line item affected. Okay, so the point here is accounting policies are changed retrospectively, errors also retrospectively, whereas estimates are done prospectively. Okay, guys, big top-down approach gives you a feel for what's in the standard. Watch the rest of this video. There's a lot of detail coming up. Thank you.